Howdy folks, welcome back to Farming Simulator here on Silver Run Forest. Today we're working on the homestead. I've got the land up here and as you can see we've done some equipment buying. So the plan is to clear off this bench here. I've been exploring back in there and there's quite a bit of flat ground. So we're going to clear this off and then I'll have some room. I'd like to build a, some, some kind of small residence up here and uh, get some sheds or something to keep the equipment in. And this will be kind of our main uh, base of operations as we expand out. Just pull up the map again real quick. Pull up farmlands. So we're right here and kind of this area right in here is pretty flat. So I'll try to clear out a lot of these trees. This is hillside, but up here it's kind of flattish. And then most of this is just kind of, we'll be able to get some timber off of it, but not much good for building. I thought about 34, but I don't want to spend all my money right now. There's actually a house over there, so I don't know if I'll build a residence here. This might just be uh, machinery and stuff. We'll see. If I end up buying that area there, there is a nice house there available for sale. But anywho, let's uh, take a quick look through here. I've done. I've made some changes. So the uh, trailer I had was fine, but it just seems like a little light duty. So I got a heavier duty trailer. Looks a little more beefy, like it can get the job done. And it also has the option of folding log forks. And it's it's just a little bit bigger. And I swear those wheels are further forward. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, you can see I got uh, a big Mac dump truck. It's got an older model, but it's in good shape. And I got that because we're going to eventually be hauling some iron ore. So I wanted something pretty beefy for that. Uh, for now, we're just going to use it for wood chips. And I did get this figured out. I had the right wood chipper. Uh, what I didn't realize is it has a conveyor belt. And that's what hooks on and makes it a longer uh, setup there. So I got the conveyor and then you just back it up close to there and it actually hitches on. So it's attached. And it's ran. Where's the hoses? Here it is. It's got a motor. Hooks up some hydraulic hoses to its parent chipper there. So that's how that works. Um, I've done a little bit of work here, as you can see. Um, I also added treads. Now, if you saw the live stream archive, you saw this little beast running around. But uh, I got the treads, and that really helped solve the traction issues. It's got tons of traction now. Works really well. But let's hop in. We're getting rid of some of the smaller bushes and things uh, with this mulcher. The problem with the mulcher is it also creates fields when you're taking out bushes and things. So I've had to paint in uh, where the bushes are. I know in previous versions we had a roller that would repaint the ground. I'm not, I haven't been able to find something like that. But that's okay. We can always just use the landscaping. Put this guy on and we're just going to chew up some bushes here. And then we'll come back and fix the ground. No problem. So I don't want field here. And I'm not sure about that rock. We might leave it there. We might have to chip it away. Uh, this also works well for these smaller trees that really aren't worth, you know, chipping up. But my sawdust mod gets a little crazy. But the mulcher gets rid of the sawdust, so we can just get rid of some of that. <laughs> it all works out in the end. Seems like it doesn't want to delete that tree for some reason. Let's see if we can get rid of the stump at least. There we go. Did I get rid of it, or am I just hung up on it? I think it might still be there in the in the wood chips. Anyhow, let's get this little tree. Oh, that's kind of on the. Yeah, let's let's get rid of it. 
So I don't want to get rid of absolutely everything on the edge, but that's pretty close to the edge. It gets rid of these bushes and stuff really nice. So we're just going to go around on the edge and then we'll kind of clean up the inside. Let's come back and get some of these bushes. I don't care too much that the mulcher deletes the wood chips on the ground because it's not a ton of wood chips anyway. Got bounced a little bit. There we go. That eaten up. Now for these types, you have to get down and actually mulch the ground for it to loot the bushes. Kind of bouncy. But it does a pretty good job of getting stuff cleaned up. There's probably larger attachments that would work on tractors, but I like having the skid steer. It's very versatile. You do a lot of things with it. So many bushes back in here. Come on, you. Yep, you need to go down too. Alright, starting to look a little more open back in here. really like the weathering on these tracks. It looks great. The dirt pattern and everything makes them look well used. Kind of skipping around on the wood piles too. So I'm not sure how far back we're going to go. We can get some of this cleared out and decide. And then it almost looks like there was a road here at some point. Like it's kind of leveled off back through there. I don't know if this is supposed to be like an old logging road or something. run over all that and get it maybe hey we got it all look at that of course we'll have a lot of wood chips to clean up that's okay that's just part of the fun didn't have that low enough to the ground Think if we kind of put this like this, and uh, it's going to catch on there, isn't it? <laughs> it's a tree eating machine. 
Gotta get a screenshot of that. Alright, that's getting to be just kind of a mess here. Now it's all hung up. Let me see. I know the Lumberjack mod lets you get rid of some stuff. There we go. And you can hold down and delete stuff, which is kind of handy sometimes. Get rid of those little odd shaped pieces of wood. All right, um, I may end up just painting all of this. I haven't figured out how to paint grass on though. I gotta do some more research. Like I thought you used to be able to paint the grass texture and it would actually grow grass. I'm not sure if that works in 22 or if it's different now. Cause that's, I painted this grass, but it's just a texture. Let's get rid of these bushes. Eh, I might leave those. I'm getting kind of close to the natural beauty part of the site. Alright, I think it's time to cut down some trees. So I'll park this for now. Uh, these are logs that need to eventually go on the trailer. So let's get the logs or the log forks up, which I have to have the truck on for. Fold that ramp up while we're here. It's a very handy trailer. I like that. I like multi-purpose things. All right, let's fell some trees and we can use the winch here to get them dragged back out. So pretty much all these trees are going to come down. Uh, I'm going to leave those two there for now, but let's start with this one. And how tall are you? Yeah, we'll go ahead and fell it this direction. Timber! Lovely. Dark, goofy lemming here. All right, not too bad of a tree. So I think I was doing nine meters. For that trailer. trouble with this disappearing the whole log. There we go. Oh, go to just hand. So this one we can pick up. We'll just put, I've been making a little pile here of stuff to chip. But I guess now that I got the uh, extension on there, I could just go ahead and lay them up on here. He's a little tall. Stick those up in there. And we'll be turning the smaller stuff into wood chips. And put the big logs on the trailer. Kind of cloudy today. It was raining the uh, day before yesterday. Looks like we're supposed to get some more rain later today. Oops. Had a pretty nice day yesterday. Got a lot of contract work done. Got the bank balance filled back up a little bit. 
All right, let's go ahead and get those drug over. Let me show you how the winch works if you haven't seen it. It's pretty neat. I know, I'm the only one on YouTube that's going to drive a tractor at actual tractor speeds. <laughs> Everybody's zipping around like a Formula One race car. Will this actually push wood chips? No. Okay. Wasn't sure. Alrighty, now if I can remember the keys, I think it's R. And then it's B to attach. And I think it's Y to, no, Y is to release. Alright. B. And then was it I can't remember the key. It is. Oh, it's R to attach another one. Okay. There we go. And then B. There we go. Oh, uh, we got an errant limb on there. Strange with this tractor, most of them, if you reverse, it goes to the same gear. Here it just defaults back to one. Lower that a bit. We should be able to use this to push them back. Oh, they catch on the they catch on the winch. Interesting. Oh well, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I have to shift it into the right reverse gear every time. Alright, close enough. Let's get some more trees down. It's going to rinse and repeat. Get this ground out, get these wood chips picked up. It's going to be quite a bit of room here. This is a fairly tall tree. I think I'm going to go this direction. We'll drop this one beside it. Looming is a little awkward. I kind of wish there was a different key for it. So you have to kind of pretend like you're cutting the tree, but not cut the tree. So like I might need to. No, that was from the mulching that tree, wasn't it? Well, that was from limbing the tree. I was like, that's a little bit too much sawdust. <laughs> All right, we need some nine meter chunks here. I'm gonna be short enough, it'll just delete it. So we'll leave that one alone. Need a little bit of uh, drop shadow or something on that text. 
Alright, so we can pick this one up. Just lay it here in the dirt so it's easy to see. So I'll grab you. I'm not sure how many trees we can grab this with the winch. We'll find out. Alright, so I think I can come all the way back over here and hit R. No, I have to be close. Alright, R. Then we can go B, and then... Now we're here, I can hit R because we're next to the shackle. Awesome. And then I think, is it is it K? Yeah, K and M, I think. Oh, they got bound up. I used to do that on the old winch. separate a little bit. Trying to hit all the right keys. see if we can drag all these. You gonna play nice physics? What's the key? Oh, when you're in the tractor, it's control. Okay. I wanted to let out some cable. When you're in the tractor, you got to hit control too. I don't like how the logs still like skid across the ground. That's a little weird, but. but what you gonna do? Farm sim gonna farm sim. Starting to look pretty good. All right, let's get you to fall this direction. Biggin. I was hoping it wasn't going to go over the side <laughs> to chase it halfway to town. Oh, getting into the bushes. Yeah, super realistic logging. <laughs> oh, look at this big beast. I'm going to see if I can winch this up before I start cutting on it. I want the pieces to go flying over the edge of the cliff there. Pretty 
grab our winch line. Look at that. It's even got a nicely modeled choker. It's pretty cool. The uh, cable's animated a little better than the old mod winch. Not sure why the winch stops until you move closer. Kind of weird. Ah, oh, here comes the rain. We're going to get rained on. I have to call it quits here for a bit. Go sit in my soggy tent. Alright, I'm going to throw one on you, but this is going to probably bind up on the log. Yeah, whoa! Oh, it's bound up on the stump now. Well, we got closer. You get right up on that to grab the winch line. The wind sounds kind of terrifying. I see it quits like it quits reeling in. Is it based on player distance from the tractor or something? Kind of weird. A regular old thunderstorm. I was looking at the wrong number. Alright, we'll throw you on the chipper. And this kind of probably turned into a little bit longer of an episode. Dang, might want to seek shelter. Let's see if we can get these winched over here. I'll throw one on you. And one on you. And one on you. And then it's probably going to get everything stuck on the stump. I'm hoping it'll just pull them off. There we go. Awesome. It does seem related to like the, the distance the player is from the tractor. That's really strange. So it's kind of our poor man's yarder here. <laughs> it pulled up into position anyway. I'll lower that all the way down. That's not too bad. That'll work. Scooch over just a bit. There we go. I like it. So I think we have, I think we might do some wood chips here. So let's go get 
hooked onto the chipper. So you just can't do any slow speed stuff. That's what I really loved about cattle and crops. They had the physics just great. Alright, you can sit there. And let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, look at that. Pulls them right in on the belt. I like it. Uh oh. It's going so well. <laughs> that didn't work out. I rotate this. Not really any kind of useful direction. Well, maybe it's because there's multiple of them, but they're just kind of wiggling around regardless. <laughs> uh, okay, this seems like a really good idea. In practice, it's not working out so great. But yeah, I could put a conveyor bit on here. It'd be easy. Nope, Farm Sim's got other ideas. Get in there. Just spits it out. <laughs> Come on, game. Throw me a bone here. No? Get in there. Benny Hill music. Oh, I got one piece mostly in, I think. Come on, get up on there. Hope OSHA's not watching. Hey, get in there! <laughs> Go in. Ten out of ten, would would ship again. I'm gonna get a refund at this point. Get in there. Man, it just does not want to go. Spits it right back out. Wonder if there's a better wood shipper mod. You know, one that actually works. Oh, we got some of it. I'm stubborn. I will stay here for an hour and a half video getting this stick in there. Hey! <laughs> I don't know what happened to it, but it's gone. <laughs> oh, brother. All right, we need to grind some stumps. We need to wind this video up is what I need to do. It's kind of kind of running on long. Let's see if we can find all the stumps. 
Whoa! Braking ability is, is not this vehicle's strong suit. It's got really weak brakes. Yeah, that makes quick work of the stumps. There's only three. Didn't I cut down like four trees? Yeah, I think that might be all of them. Well, all that remains is the cleanup for this stage. And we'll have more trees to cut down. Of course, i got to get the uh, logs loaded. So I'm actually not sure this machine will be able to do. Let's test that real quick. Let's, uh, especially that one big tree. That was a ginormous log. This will be the test right here. I'm not sure this thing has the oomph. That's somewhat in the middle. Well, we bit onto it. Uh, this really ought to go the other direction, but I guess it matters too much. All right, apparently we can lift it. It's it's a it's a little tippy. So we just gotta be careful. And kick. All right, I can live with that. We gotta get some pretty decent money for these nine meter logs. I'm hoping. load one more and then probably call it a, a video. This will take a little while to get these all loaded up. Whoa! Plus it's thunderstorm and I need to get out of the rain. I think this is the biggest log right here. I, I gotta try this one. This is that big boy from the big tree. So I want to be a little bit left of center. That's where the mass is. Yeah, I can already tell the way that's lifting that we want to be over a little bit more. Alright, get up in there. Clamp her down. Ooh, not, not terrible, but she's a little tippy. Now, I do have uh, more plate weights I can put on the back here. Having that back weight definitely helps. Alright, here's the test. Can we go all the way up with it? Sure can. What a little beast. Of course, if we didn't have that back weight, we'd be in trouble. Thunk. <laughs> How to break your trailer in one easy step. Alright, so I need to get these loaded up. I need to get that sawdust scooped up. And uh, we'll continue clearing this bench off. I want to get some sheds built, like I said. So that'll be it for this episode. The adventure continues. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.